Hi everybody, Eugene here with Darkroom Software. In this quick video, we're going to be talking about presentation mode in Darkroom Core. This would also work in Pro and Assembly, just like most other options. But we are going to be running it as a standalone. Typically, presentation mode is used with, in conjunction with Pro. You'd have Core working as a sales station, and then Pro kind of taking care of everything else, printing, you might have another capture station running core, but you would typically be using a network environment. We're not gonna be doing that today. Uh, we're gonna be using a core uh, being fed by a hot folder. What this means is that you can use the sales presentation mode with any device or software that can output to a folder. Specifically, what we're looking at is darkroom booth. Darkroom Booth can run through a session, output to a its original images and its strip or its layout to a, uh, an output folder. You could also do this with a wireless camera. Let's say like uh, my Canon EOS camera has wireless built into it. I can use EOS utility to feed to it. You can do this from another core computer, output automatically to this folder. So, a whole bunch of different ways. You Sony users, there's an option for you as well. But the uh, let's go ahead and look, see how this is all kind of put together, the functionality, and then what it can do, and then also some practical uh, applications. So, I have a hot folder right here. Darkroom is looking at it. If you go to the camera options and then hot folder, you can see that it's looking at that folder. What that means is anytime I drag an image, it'll automatically import into Darkroom. So that's just kind of some of the background. We also have a couple packages set up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and switch this because we're going to start off with um, just basic reprint from a uh, from darkroom booth so we can use this as a operator in this mode but if we switch into presentation mode now we can from here we can enhance the photo um, adjust vignette a um, whole bunch of different uh, options that you have and you can disable these options. The nice thing is you don't have to give all of these options. They are just options. Okay, yeah, we're going to pretend that that's, that's our photo stripper there. So you can output the original images and then reprint a 4x6 um, of the originals. You can reprint with a border. You can add a, a template to the actual print. Or uh, let's say we had this image, and we're pretending it's a, a photo strip. We would just click on that, and there's our photo strip. So we can do reprints. Another thing we could do is also uh, send via SMS uh, or email. So there are a few of you out there with your uh, gears turning in your head that this could be used as a kiosk for Booth, and totally 100% it can be. Um, Booth would run, capture the images, and you don't do the ent entering from there. You output to a folder that uh, they both have access to across the network. And then Darkroom takes it, uh, Darkroom Core takes it from there. And you have two outputs. You have uh, save output one and uh, save output two, copy originals one and two. So you can use this with two computers if you needed to have two core uh, workstations or kiosks running. So something kind of interesting uh, worth thinking about. So this is event presentation mode. Let's go ahead and uh, jump out of this. There's another presentation mode. Um, there's some cool things in here. There's, uh, uh, let's see, go, let's jump right back in. Um, so you could do, uh, let me see. Obviously, I don't do this a whole bunch, but there's a slideshow. Auto. And then 
add music and it run through a slideshow but the slideshow is already built into the booth and much more uh, feature rich but that is another option in here there's comparing um, so you can um, have two different photos decide which one you like better and which one you want to make the larger print of right now I have uh, watermarks turned on that's an option that you can turn on and off so uh, before we look at the because there's two presentation modes before we look at those let's look at some of the options that we have within presentation mode so under workflow settings we can always use studio presentation if we prefer so we just check studio for uh, every event type um, I personally like event presentation mode and uh, there are quite a few more options for event presentation mode uh, but there's that watermark you can see I have it added to um, studio presentation mode but these are all the options that you can actually disable if you need so let's switch over to just for fun we're going to go ahead and clear that order um, the event presentation mode and the difference is that just the type of event we double click on this it's the type that determines whether it goes to it whether it's studio or whether it's an event so um, back into event presentation mode so you can see it's a little bit different you have a few different options if you click on it um, let me drag in a few more images because this is actually what would happen um, that it's capturing while you're working so most likely you do not want to replace the image um, but as somebody is working in there it's just building images without you really having to do any work so if you're a roaming photographer this is awesome you're just taking pictures and you let people go in and order their images share their images the other thing I'm going to show you um, for those of you that like making money um, these were all set for just free you, it, whenever you set them you, it's a 4 by 6 and it just prints so I'll show you as I uh, build an order you can see that zero dollars zero cents so let's clear that order let's change our package group upsell packages now these have a price associated with them so you have a capture station with say it's darkroom booth or it's a roaming photographer whatever you choose then you have the sales station where people can go in select their images and you can have it set to auto print or you can save it and then print everything at the end of the day um, this would work out really well for um, kids sports and those type of things so and that's typically who uses it uh, uses the uh, presentation mode uh, youth sports uh, theme parks and um, like Santa and Easter Bunny uh, photographers so I just wanted to put it out there uh, event presentation mode is right here it's not used by a whole bunch of people but the people who do use it are doing pretty well with it. thanks so much for watching I'll see you next time Thanks again for watching. If there's a topic that you want to learn a little bit more about, be sure to comment below, like, subscribe, and click the little notification bell so when we, we release a new video, I'll let you know. Here's some other videos you might like. Most importantly, thanks for being a customer. I'll see you next time.